Now you can watch this process in phase microscopy looking at something like these two cells shown here imaged in my lab a long time ago. It's a time-lapse movie which compresses about 20 hours of a cell cycle into about 30 seconds. So time is flying here and you can watch any one individual cell and as you watch it moving around you'll see it divide. The periods between division, which are of course called interphase, are the times of synthesis that I've been talking about. It's then that proteins are made, RNA is made, DNA is replicated, so that we have two cells in one bag. The process of cell division then is the mechanics of separating all those constituents into two discrete objects. And it has to be done very well, because if cells lack essential constituents, for example, a chromosome, some of the DNA which includes instructions for making RNA and protein, then the daughter cells will be unlikely to survive. So the division process is a very precise one that has to take advantage of structures that are built in order to assure the accurate segregation of the components of the cell which are present in only a few numbers like chromosomes. What you're seeing here is cell division going forward with no restraint. The cells are being provided with the factors that stimulate their division, they're being provided with all the food that they need, and so they simply divide as rapidly as they can complete the essential synthetic processes. This is like the lifestyle of a unicellular organism where food is really the limiting factor in how a cell can go forward making decisions to divide and produce two of itself. For the cells in our body, on the other hand, this process must be tightly regulated because if cells divide too frequently, you can get anomalies which are very dangerous medically like cancer. On the other hand, cells must divide in order to achieve a healthy adult organism. Of course, the cells of an embryo divide in order to produce the juvenile and then the adult form. Cell division is essential in wound healing. Cell division is also essential in tissue renewal. So for example, the red blood cells that circulate through your vasculature are comparatively short in their lifetime, a couple of weeks, and if they are not replaced, you will have anemia. So cell division is being regulated in a multicellular organism to produce all the cells that are necessary to balance the cell death which is occurring.